chocolate pairs exceptionally well with the rum. They have similar origins since both cacao trees and sugarcane grows in hot, humid, tropical climate close to the equator. So it's time to get swept away in those rich, exotic treats. Let's dive in there just now. Hello, Hendo here and welcome to five classic rum and chocolate pairings. In this video, I'll share easy ways to marry chocolates to some of your favourite rum styles. Now, chocolate undergoes the Maillard reaction, uh, a browning, as does rum with molasses and barrel ageing. When pairing the two, we want to balance the flavours, take note of the cause and effect. So try not to match spicy with spicy. I recommend assessing the rum style, alcohol strength, production process, time in barrel, and the chocolate's cocoa percentage and flavour notes. Generally, I pair sweeter chocolates with younger rum and higher cocoa percentage chocolate with the older barrel aged rums. Using rum and chocolate local to each other usually works very well. There are thousands of rums out there, so I'm going to go with flavour styles over brand names. Here are five rum styles I'll use. Number one, Agricole rum, young or no age. Think of Martinique, Guadeloupe, Haiti, French Guiana, Rurunian Island. Referred to as the French style, as fresh sugar cane juice spirit. Often high proof and served as a tea punch which is lime and sugar forward. Number two, Agricole rum, but aged VSOP or XO, extra old, also from the same countries, often aged in ex-bourbon or ex-cognac casks. Number three is Spanish style rum, uh, covering the Caribbean, Central and South America, aged molasses rum or Arguente from Guatemala, virgin sugarcane honey. The rums from Nicaragua, Panama, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Colombia. Molasses rum, usually column distilled and aged in ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks. The Solera aging marries casks, creating a smoother spirit. Then number four, Jamaican Barbados rum, characterful unadulterated aged molasses rum, like single pot Jamaican funk or the balance of pot and column distilled Barbados rums. Then number five, Guyana rum, aged molasses Demerara rum, but rich dark mahogany notes. So, without further ado, here are five classic pairings. Number one, Agricole rum, unaged, paired with the white chocolate and matcha green tea. A nice combination. Or why not try not too bitter dark chocolate with earthy notes and herbaceous anise flavours of mint to cool in the tea punch. Number two, Agricole, aged VSOP or XO, paired with Valorona Carib, 66% bar or dark chocolate with raisins. It's rum and raisin in the glass, so it works really well. Or try chocolate with mango pieces, rose water, ginger or pistachio nuts. Number three, Spanish style rum, paired with a quality 70% or above dark chocolate from Guatemala in Central America. The origins of the first chocolate bar. The Mayans used chilli in their chocolate. I think that's maybe a good idea here. For Solera aged rums, try praline, caramel or coffee. Number four, Jamaican or Barbados rum pair with a bar of rich dark chocolate like Pralis Trinidad 75% or Grenada chocolate 71%. Pineapple or strawberry pieces for that Jamaican funk high ester rum and raspberries in dark chocolate with the port cast finished rums you can see from these islands just now. Number five, Guyana Demerara rum with 85% Venezuela chocolate. Porcelana is a famous heirloom cacao in Venezuela. Also consider roasted nuts, walnuts, almonds and, and maybe cinnamon if you like a touch of spice. So, I've overgeneralized to narrow to five pairings, but given you plenty of options within that to experiment. So now it's over to you. Tell us what your favorite rum and chocolate pairings are. I'll add more in the series and videos. If you're interested in tasting events or menus, 
Contact us at hendotalks.com. As always, welcome your feedback and comments. I hope this was useful to you in some way. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.